Phew. We finally got these things. Where are they? Where are they? I don't see them. There they are. Soul moat. A faint essence of a lost soul used in alchemy. Ha ha. Ha ha. We got so moats. I don't know what they're using it for, but we got them. We got them. Ah, that felt good. That felt good. Well, hey there. I'll just take a rest in this cabin. Before we were, I think, over here in the Fallow Hill Farm, I ended up taking a little, little, little break and some little exercise, and I got my trade skills up. Most notably, be my logging past level 50, which means I can mine older trees now. Sorry, logging. I can log older trees now, and my mining past level 50, which means that I can mine um, cool rocks. Yeah, cool rocks. So, we should probably get back to the farm. Got anything that's left in there. Which way is it? This way. And then, uh, uh, head over to uh, the Soul Warden Temple. This is this Jonas? Oh, it is Jonas. Hey, Jonas. Let me know if you see any cool rocks, Jonas. Like this one. Iron. It's gonna come in handy. Is there anything else? Any iron near here? Ah, just regular rock. Okay. Ah, before we go, I didn't want to switch it up a little and put on my boy gauntlet. I can just... Yeah, okay, there we go. Oh, it's a new one. I even notice. Ah, I see something glowing. Can I mine it? Oh, before I do. I'm in a new territory, which means the mining is going to be slower, but what the hell is that? Swarm Mancer? What the hell is this thing? It summons bugs? That's gross. Holy crap. I never want to fight that thing again. I guess I would fight that then. These guys. They're gaseous hairballs. Ooh. Yeah. I can mine this. Soul Spire. Where are we going? Oh, we're already here. Let's see if we can pick up anything else around here, and then we'll head over. Oh, hi. Oh, you got caught in crossfire. Oh, poor thing. Oh, you're gonna go in my tummy now. Oh, there's a lot of stuff. Yeah. 
soul spire. I don't think you feel better. Oh, there's more over there. Is that Jonas? No, that's the cart with the letter on it that gave me uh, a quest, I think. Oh, no. I didn't. There we go. Oh, there's more. Thank you. Oh, no, I didn't. Push it off. Okay. Oh, is there things to harvest? I do want to harvest these potatoes now. Ooh, another one. Great. Let's appear from our harvesting. Oh, level 40. Here comes our 12, 50 now. Oh, level up. How oh, nice. Look some of the spot. Season war track. Camping tier upgrade. Two loadout slots. I don't know what those are. Don't worry about those after I finish getting potatoes. Oh no, you don't! You're mine now. Okay. What were we talking about? Right. Points. Dexterity. Gather these bushes real quick. Aha. Right. On to here. This way. Finally reached the Soul Warden Temple. Complete the challenges. Is there someone over there? Oh, they got a handle. Come here, sheep. Oh, the well, night sky's really beautiful. I love seeing the stars. Oh, it's bright. Oh, it's really bright, actually. Maybe don't look directly at it. Maybe that's good advice. This is it. Oh, hi. Are you here to welcome me? Oh, crap. They got shields. They got shields. Shield to the party. Oh, I should repair this. What is this? Oh. This is the Tomb of the Old Warrior. Sword and Temple. Can I scale this and skip the enemies? No. Well, here goes. He 
Didn't have a shield. I got played. Run me, I'm gonna run you. Iron arrows. That's kind of lame. We just have to go in there. How do they have a blue mark on them? Does that mean that part of this? Oh, I don't, I don't notice anything. Some part of it. No, yeah, they're part of it. Part of what, though? Well, in we go. Should we go straight for it or? We uh, go around. Oh, well, that doesn't really matter. Ooh. What coffee you say? The final promise. I, Gilgamesh, do solemnly bow under the radiance of the sun and the luminescence of the stars in the presence of the gods to serve as an Amara. The blessed inheritor of the eternal fire. Wait, did you say Gilgamesh? Like the Gilgamesh? Like from the epic of Gilgamesh? Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised at this point. King Arthur exists, and I guess Gilgamesh exists too. End the trial. Survive the trial. What? I vow to be both noble and true, to heed the divine laws, and to aid my people against all hardships and foes. I also swear on my soul to ease the world's pain and to fulfill my sworn obligations regardless of the price. Okay, that's nice. Whoa! Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Okay, I guess I gotta crawl. That did so much damage! I'm here. Whoa. We're gonna have to do this. Uh, we just like. 
That's it. Uh oh. Hey, come after me. Crap. Milk and maybe don't. Where'd they go? Whoa. Almost got it. Aha. No might of sword, no conviction will keep you from me. I'm not trying to keep you from me, or keep me from you. I'm trying to find you, and stab you! Or, you know, you could stop just getting talking to my head. That's also a possibility. Did they drop Glance over there? Glace? Glace? Whoever that guy is? I think they got dropped down. Uh oh. Uh oh. What? I'm guessing I have to destroy these guys. And that will make him weaker. Last, you want to help me out? There you are. To fight you again? Oh. Oh, wrong move. Yeah. Oh, you can... Backup's here. Aha! Take that! Alright, let's read this before it's too late. Final promise. To the winds, my strength to the land. And my spirit to the firmament, that it rain down into the blessed earth and the depths of the waters to seal my oath for all time and for all those who would follow in my path. All right, Janos, Gilgamesh, whatever. Are you Gilgamesh? Gil Gilgamesh. Gilgamesh. Oh, not again. Crap, 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 crap. Oh, we're fucked. Hold on. Wait, wait, come out three. Switch these around. I think. Yeah, okay. Better get out before it's too late. Did you see something else? Whoa, 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 where are you going? Huh. What do you know? Oh, quick way out.
Easy on us. Hello, Jonas. Well, imagine the kinds of people oh, you're not Jonas, you're Grace. The roads around here. But you're looking a little haggard, if you don't mind me saying so. Had an eventful journey, have you? Yeah. Any chance you know a Jonas? Thought I heard scuffling in those ruins. I was thinking there might be some treasure in there. But you don't look like you found something. You look like you're still searching. Well, I found passages. I can recite those to you if you'd like. You see an old man? Now that you mention it, there was an old codger a few paces back. They've got a proper city that direction. I'll be going back soon enough. But if you want to go after this geezer, go that way and just ask around town. Got it. Oh wait, you were you were gonna be someplace. Right? I forget where you were gonna be. Uh but I'll come see you. We have to figure out who this is. Also, I might have met Gilgamesh. Long story. Don't worry about it. I'll talk. Tell you later. Okay. Before we head over to the city, there's another rune. Oh, it's a statue or a tower. Oh, I wanted to say hi to those guys. But they left. Is that one of them? Alright, I'll, I'll see them in the... in a bit. If they stick around town. Now I want to get to that tower. Oh, I have to go all the way around. Okay. All right, I'll do that later. Oxborough. Hello there, sir. Anos Lembre. Lembre. I'm only allowed to deal with minor public disturbances. For any mercantile disputes, you'll have to plead your case with one of the noble families. You what? Eastern European? Actually, I'm looking for someone. Aren't we all? But information is power here. What you know, who you know, it could get you thrown down a hole somewhere. Uh... If you are determined, look for Sarah. She knows things. <laughs> Whether she admits it or not. Sure. Okay, this is very different than uh than the last city I was in, in Pridwin. The people here are different too. They're not as friendly, or they're not. I mean, that was friendly, I guess, but ominous. They're more ominous. Huh. Buildings are these. Oh, cool, your eyes are glowing. It's totally normal. Oh. Can I still put stuff in here? stuff in here can I use it in crafting whoa jolly saber I'll put it in mine it's a rare happy I am when I am out plundering. Definitely equipping that. Definitely gonna try that out. 
a 16 constitution. Wow, okay. Grab these two then. Don't know what this is. No, it's a shard that can be used to upgrade certain equipment. Okay, well. Don't worry about that later. Sculpted into an item cast. Gives us clarity, but it's also uh, not as strong. Oh, because it's medium. That's why. Okay. Does that also mean that I can't, like. Yeah, so this doesn't use the same. Oh well. We don't really need to craft right now. Marauder's Manifesto. No barriers. Let's keep... Oh, I've read this already. United in blood. My fellow Marauders, if you allow me a moment of extremely brief sentimentality. Are Marauders here? We are among the bravest and most noble fighters on this island. Here, in our faction, it matters not your creed or origin, but how fervorous, furiously, fur, furious, ferociously, ah, you can fight and conquer. The Vitae Eternum Pact dictates that we issue a test of strength to all newcomers, and once proven worthy, extend the offer of membership to them. While all factions must band together to fight the corruption, the Marauders are without pretense, an uncomplicated bunch, united in bloodshed on the battlefield. What more can an adventurer ask for? I don't know, I'm not really here to fight. This fighting is more means to the end, you know? Yeah, the tiers here aren't as good. They're not as upgraded. Who owns this place? Who's in charge of it right now? Free stack. Well, free stack, you're not really doing great on the upgrades. Houses are nice, though. Tekla Petrovsky. I have not seen your face around Everfall before. Tread carefully, adventurer. Danger lurks outside of the settlement. I'm from outside of the settlement. Whoa. That is a fancy house. Oh, that house. This is a trading post. Probably zoom in and try to figure everything out. Yeah, I was right there. These are probably houses. goes out here. Oh, it's Grace. Hey, Grace. This is my kind of town. Colour, opulence, fashion, thievery, gossip, drama. Just the sort of place that rewards the ambition of a woman trying to seek her fortune. It's definitely more normal than the other place, than Prudwin. Well, normal, I guess, is subjective. Normal for, for I guess, people from the old world. What's this? A notice of concern to Carter's... Oh, already read this? Oh, yeah. Because it's just saying that we don't have any beasts of burden. Other than ourselves. Let's go. Up through here. William Huron's account. Oh yeah, Huron. That obelisk wasn't always shattered, or so the people who arrived in Eternum before me report. The ancient guardians once slumbered, not but piles of bones on the old stone floors and their monuments. It was the explosion of the obelisk that awoke these old warriors, igniting blue flames around the island that cannot be extinguished by water or any natural means. Was that some sort of timer device? Did someone interfere where they should have not? Further researchers 
from fire. So an obelisk blew up. It was an explosion from an obelisk. Willem Heron. Hmm. You don't look like an antiquarian. What business could you possibly have with he gets my notes. He gets. And you're carrying some of those peculiar ancient what devices. This? Does this mean you visited the towers yourself? Well, some of them. Since you are clearly no ordinary muscle for hire, would you be interested in collaborating with me? Think about the possibilities. Your brawn, my brain, and a host of mysteries to solve. Mm -hmm. Uh, sure is, but I don't really want to wipe papers. <laughs> Perish the thought! You'll handle anything in the field. We will both be credited on any works I write. And of course, you will be compensated with coin and any... items that are irrelevant to my studies. You, you mean anything I find in loot? I'm glad we have an understanding. Now, we will begin further field exploration with Towers Perseus and Lupus. The towers are named for constellations associated with ferocity and martial might. Be on your guard. Do you name him or do others did others name him? Listen, I'm just here for information. Anything that got me closer to finding out who this lady is. Can I play it? No. What if I do this? No. Oh, that reminds me. I got a new void gauntlet. This is gonna be dexterity. But it's new and it's shiny and I want it. If I could just grab it. If I could just Aha! Very different than uh than this one. It's still striped, it's just harder to see. This one's more colorful. Cecilia Polly. Oh hello there! Hi. You are most welcome to the Ever Sebastian. Tavern. Sit down, imbibe, take a moment to enjoy life. You, you seem like you're too preppy, to, happy to be in this town. Lieutenant Tibbs, Lieutenant Tibbs. Slide on over, friend. You look like one of the marauder types. <sighs> like adventure? Maybe a bit of a scrap, eh? How about weapons and riches? How'd you like a little tip from old Tibbs? Oh, I've got something perfect for a new arrival. Uh, tell me more. Ah, that's the spirit. Northwests are fort filled with unbelievable wonders. Need odd things to get inside. Magic, you see. Ears from the soulless lost. A ring from a knight. <laughs> Grab that lot from Lugdenham Fields and meet me there. All right, I'll help you out. I don't really know if I want to join the Marauders, but I'll help you out at least. I wish you want a ring is in order. Gregory Jones. Here for some more tips? I know you'd be back. I don't know you. Forget iron or calcum is where it's at. Buy now, sell high, later you won't regret. It's how you save up for three houses. I should know. It's how I saved up for mine. You have three houses? Uh, you own three houses? Dare I say three is not enough? I long for a house in every territory so that my trading empire can flourish to its fullest extent. But I have been told time and time again that I simply must abide by the current laws. What, what is what the current laws? Only of three houses? Have any training tips? Buy low, sell high. It's a, if at all possible, discover what people want before they want it, and buy it all up. Thus creating a shortage in the market that can only only you can fill. 
That one's a bit trickier, though. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't know how to do that. What's so special about the trading post? The joy is speculation. The ups and downs for the market. The thrill of finding out how much solvent is worth today. Trade is the lifeblood of a tournament. If you don't have your finger on its pulse, you aren't living. I, I, I'm not. I'm not really that capitalistic, my guy. Oh, hello. Valiant Clark. Ah, a visit. Magistrate. I can tell by your starry eyed demeanor that this is the first time you have ever set eyes on a city such as ours. For a small fee, I can arrange for a guide to give you the grand tour. Simply say the word. Uh, I, can, I have feet. I can walk around. Thank you. Everyone's opportunistic in this city. Makes me kind of miss the simplicity of Prudwin. Training post. That's also training. This true training post. Why? Oh, and in. That's perfect. Hello. Welcome to the Autumn Rest. Always a colorful place to be. You're here to check in. Be my guest. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> uh, let me just check in. Atticus Delphi. Sacrifice Bowler. Oh, perhaps with a key change. No, let it breathe. Uh, oh, uh, you caught me unawares. How may I be of assistance? Yeah, sorry, I overheard your humming. Uh, alas, I should have chosen a more private locale for this. Probably. Uh, could you kindly forget what you saw and heard? My mistress would be quite irate if she learned I've been sneaking away to work on such a frivolous pursuit. It's unfair, you should explore your passion. If only my duty to my mistress did not prevent it. To be free of her, I must earn another patron. To complete my greatest work, I first need to hear it aloud. Which means, I must select an instrument. Can you play? Hand play? Fairly well. How can I help? Excellent. I have a guitar in my possession, but there may be a more fitting instrument for my work. The townsfolk have instruments we can borrow. Or would you be so kind as to procure a handful and play them for me? Sure. Uh. Oh, Atticus's guitar. Is that better than the guitar I have? Magistrate Clark, okay. Magistrate Clark, I hear you have an instrument I could use. Fine day, is it not? The autumnal splendor of Everfall is always on full display. Stay a while, enjoy the scenery, and be sure to buy a drink at the tavern. Well, actually, I was just at the inn. Um, do you have any chance at an instrument I could borrow? Well, now, that is a most curious request. Are you a lover of music? An artisan, perhaps? It so happens that I carry a flute, should I be in a musical mood. As long as you solemnly swear to return it, you may borrow it. I do swear. Um, also, don't you kind of run this town? I don't think you would let me not return it. All right, young adult. Oh yeah, I was looking for someone. Try not to look so lost, lamb. It attracts pickpockets. <laughs> no, don't go clutching your valuables either. And that's even worse. The only valuables I have are my pants. No, seriously. Oh wait, my sword. That's right. I got a new sword. This is pretty valuable. And my mustache. Down my mustache. The guard said you could help me find someone. I'll have to give him a talking to. Gossip is more valuable than gold in this town. Okay, I have gold. But I'll give you this tip for free. If you're looking for someone recent, speak to the butler, Atticus. He knows everyone. Oh, perfect. Well, he'll owe me once I, um, play him music? Oh, he's a weird dude. Hot supply cart.
Old Nell Lee. Oi, you're not Riker. Oh yeah, your friends are Riker. Better looking than that old horse face light you are. Ah, oh, shucks. But look at what you bring. The people of this settlement need this food more than ever. Yeah, I don't know what happened to Riker, but figured I finished the job. You've done us a great turn, getting more sustenance into the settlement. The gap between the rich and the poor grows steady here in Everfall. As for the rich, though, the noble families. Yeah, nobles. Who are the noble families? There's old money, the Publius, Sharma, and Ayad families. And then there's new money with the Sako and O families. They run this town with their coin and have plenty to spare. So how do we get them to spare it? Well, the rich fancy their fashions. The finer the better. The heights of Midnight Wolves are highly prized. What's that? If you could acquire some from their den... Oh, actual wolves. turn them into fine coats. We'd share the profits, of course. I thought you were talking about a brand. Sure. Fur coat. Interesting. Okay. Deal. Great tracking and skinning. Oh, what's this? United in mind. The syndicate may have thinkers from all the corners of the world and a seemingly incongruent group of intellectuals, but we are united in the use of our mind before our fists or our hearts, often prone to error as they are. The syndicate's superior in its objectivity and logical outlook on conflicts. We may have internal disagreements, but there is one thing we can agree on. We are better equipped for battle with our sharp, focused minds than the other factions. Still, we must cooperate with Doth thoughtless marauders and the small-minded covenant against the corrupted in the end, lest we desire mutually assured destruction at the hands of the Red Tide. I don't know, you guys are fighting over territories. I don't think you guys are very, very, uh, you know, uh, friendly. Ocean. Are you part of a new family? Oh, new, new global families? You approach unannounced and unaccompanied Perhaps you do not understand basic etiquette. Ignorance deserves patience, but I caution you against such impropriety in the future. I bid you farewell. Alright, I'm starting with the old families. The old money families. That was disgusting. I hate you. You know who I, if you knew who my parents were in the old world, you wouldn't be saying that. Far for me for to use that against you. I couldn't back then, I probably won't now. Right. Who was I looking for? The ones yeah. Alright, I haven't been up here. Ah, Town Hall. Hello, Avida Maeka. Have you come to report a crime? I believe my guard captain, Frank, is better suited to handle the situation. You don't look like a constable. But no, actually, uh, can I borrow that upright base? It is quite heavy. I would hate for you to hurt yourself. But I suppose the moon and planets are aligned in a way that suggests... Uh, life. sure. Mm. Ah, yes, you may. Return it in a timely manner, please. You got it. What's this? True proposal. I already read that. What's this? Constable Mega's journal. Should I be reading this? It's September 23rd? Question mark? The moment I set foot in Everfall, I knew I had found paradise. How could I ever return to the infernal brimstone desert knowing this was here? Brimstone desert. I decided then and there that I'd be abandoning the Legion. I just... Legion? I just had to wait for Legionary Car... 
Carlos to give up on me, when, which finally came to pass, thank the gods. My affection for the autumn colors hasn't waned to this day, but I do feel like I've become stuck somehow. Like the season itself, I'm in transition, waiting for a winter that will never come. Furthermore, I've stated, started noticing a change in the people here, a hollowness about the eyes. Yesterday, I went out and they all looked like puppets from some traveling mummer show. Then the weight of the sky started to bear down on me like a crushing misery. I just ran back into the town hall and frankly, now I'm too scared to leave. I know Legionnaire Carlos would say I was cursed for betraying Legion. I don't know if it's that or some further stroke of ill luck, but I won't be leaving town hall anytime soon if I can help it. I just hope the town doesn't turn against me. Whoa. That's some heavy paranoia. No wonder you want someone else to handle it. Any crimes? You live here? If this means what? Oh, mind the screams of pain. Franco Dubo. I know Dubo. Everyone in this town has lost their minds. What could be more important than an army pressing down from the north? There's an army pressing down from the north? Do not get me started on the squabbles of the factions. Short slide, social side foos, all of them. Are they the faction armies or are they different armies? Maximus Marcellius. Arena recruiter. Step right up, step right up for a showdown you will never forget. Two teams enter in a clash of skill and brutality. A team emerges victorious. Are you crazy enough to brave the arena? What is the arena? What is the arena? What is the arena? <laughs> Uh, in 3v3 arenas, two teams battle to eliminate each other. Be the last team standing to have a chance at unique rewards. For six, level 60 players, this mode has gear score scaling, increasing the gear score of all equipment below to 600. Uh, that's only for level 60 players. Win three rounds, when time is up, fire one golf for the arena. As the round progresses, healing is reduced. What is the arena? What is the arena? Well, it is in the grand tradition of my motherland of Rome. It is... Uh, this is the wrong accent then, but I'm just going to stick with it. It is a battle spe spectacular of two teams going head-to-head -head in combat. It requires skill, coordination, and an unshakable metal to participate. How do I participate? To enter the arena, you can open your map and use modes to sign up for the arena grounds. So, what do you say? Are you ready to fight with the guts and glory for honor and for fame? Sure, I'll do it. Uh, maybe later, though. Ah, town projects. Upgrade gates to tier 3. Weapons smithers needed. Any weapons smithers? Uh... Fire and deliver 30 linen. Sure, I can try. Armor smithers needed. Set of stalwart crude armor. Stone masons. Ah, I can do that. Fisher folk needed. Tadpole, okay. Lumber. Got it. Okay. I'll help out. Army information. Oh, hey. Alright, fast travel time. That's a house. That, I think, leaves. Shot Sukrim. Cool fit. Amano Uchi. We are the Covenant. We are charged by divine decree to protect this place and administer justice. I serve as the adjudicator for this settlement. That's nice. You have a very echoey voice. Or it's just probably the place. The Iron Spirit. Our sacred cause cannot be beaten. The snakes of the marauders and syndicates stand no chance against us, but at the same time can be, if we the properly vital tools in the fight against corruption. The enemy of my enemy is my friend sometimes, and the same applies to all those fighting corruption. Though it is said, to lie with dogs you wake with fleas. Cooperation is at times necessary if the corrupted tide is to be stemmed. This Vitae Eternum pact calls us together in the hand and handing off of new denizens to one another to see where they best fit in and if they are pious enough to join the covenant after the choice is made we still must rely upon others if we are truly to end the threat of the corruption huh. 
We all hate each other. We try not doing that. Would it be that hard? Yeah, I don't really see any crosses here. What kind of faith are we talking about? Are you a heathen? Are these heathens? A single cross in sight. Time for instruments. Oh, uh, let's pin that one. Oh, the bin up here? I'm not. Stuffy. If you're looking for my proprietors, I am afraid they are not taking appointments. Oh wait, 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 wait. Unless there is something else I can assist you with. Hold on. The tavern. Ah, the tavern. Did I get your flute, by the way. That's not the tavern. That's the inn. The tavern is there. Tiny window. Hey, Grace. Mandolin. Aha. Hope this is someone doesn't mind me taking this. Let's go back to Atticus. Oh, that's a cool sword. Atticus. If you're looking for my proprietors, I am afraid they are not taking appointments today. Unless there is something else I can assist you with. You can. Uh, I found your instruments, but uh, I'm looking for an old fisherman named Jonas. Any chance you've seen him? Can't say that name sparks any torches. Perhaps he was just passing through. If that's the case, I'd ask God Captain Dubois. He keeps his eye on who's that coming and going. Dubois? Okay. All right, I will. A guitar may very well be suitable, but... I will know the true voice of my work when I hear it. As for the instruments... Hmm... I suggest you start with Magistrate Clark. He's a known lover of music. What? Sorry, I can't hear you on the mandolin. Play guitar? Base. The guitar may very well be suitable, but I will know the true voice of my work when I hear it. As for the instruments, hmm, I suggest you start with Magistrate Clark. He is a the guitar may very well be suitable. You need to stop talking. I will know the true voice of my work when I hear it. As for the instruments, hmm. Can't hear you. Ah, all right. Ah, uh, there it is. The flute produces the most whimsical sound. I can elicit soul-stirring melodies from such an instrument. Yes, this will do nicely. You hold on to it for now. We will return it later, along with the rest. Uh, sure. But if they come knocking... Uh, there you are. My magnum opus is complete. Oh, that was fast. I shall call it Winds of Autumn. Now, I must ensure it is heard far and wide. Without popular excitement, 
I will never gain the favor of a suitable patron. Okay, so you want to switch patrons? Where will you play? I cannot be the one to deliver my work unto the world. To gain a reputation for being a great composer, we must create the impression that my music has spread far and wide. I guess that makes in sense. In this business, as in many others, reputation is everything. So, this is where I come in. Very astute. I would like you to play the part of a traveling bard. Find individuals of influence throughout the town and play my melody before them. Ensure that you mention my pen name, Composer Marseus. All right. He's gone. Pen name, huh? I guess that's a way to keep your identity secret. How's it going? Sorry, um, I'll return your flute later. In the process of, uh, I'm a traveling bard, an apprentice bard. My master sent me to travel around, uh, turn them, uh, playing music, a lot of music, learning the different sounds of the different cultures. So I will return it later. Don't worry, it'll it'll come back to you. Just uh, let me figure this out. What's happening with uh, my composer? All right, let's uh, play some music. Just to prove to him that I'm, you know, actually... This pride, ooh. Uh, Princess Flautus... Ah, I got a flute. Okay. So, we start playing. Where is Winds of Autumn? Here we go. Okay. What what can I start performance? Why can't I start performance? There's no part selected. What? What do you mean? Oh. Gotcha. Okay. really good. Wow. Marseus, you have talents. You fit this town perfectly. Playing that next to the autumn leaves? Ah, that was magical. That man has a chin for days. Approach the Magistrate. Magistrate, hello. Ah, I see you have my flute. Do you mean to awe me with a song? I will always make time for pleasant music. <laughs> oh, it gives me great joy. Do proceed. Of course. Uh... <laughs> What do you think? Oh, my, my, my. Uh, to whom do I owe this wondrous experience? Uh, a composer by the name of Marseus. 
I will remember that name. Do convey my appreciation for this work should you meet again. Oh, you simply must share this with Captain Dubois. You will find him near the Governor's Hall. Oh, and uh, keep the flute. <laughs> my treat. Oh, thank you. It has your spit in it, but you know. It's like an indirect kiss we have going on. Captain Dubois, there you are. Oh, he didn't talk to you anyway. Uh, uh, if you've come to grease my palms about the permit, uh, permit. demand my aid in the petty squabble, or accuse me of some insane crimes and move along, I'm afraid I am very busy today. You get accused of crimes often? Okay, never mind. Uh, I'm just looking for an old fisherman. Ah, the old man Jonas, right? Yes, he passes through often. Office. <laughs> oh, always raving about corruption. He lives outside the walls in a cabin to the east. Be careful if you're headed that way, or at least don't say I didn't warn you. Right, and for that information, how about I offer you a song? I overheard the melody floating in the wind. I confess I am not much for the arts myself. My hands can do little more than bear a weapon, but I can appreciate mastery when I hear it. Will you play it again for me? Sure thing. Here we go. How do you think? It is more stirring with, with me before... What? It is even more stirring with me before me... Stirring with you before me. What? What does that mean? Where did you come by this song? Did you compose it? Oh, no, I didn't. I learned from a master composer named Marseilles. Oh, they must be prolific indeed, if their work can stand out so in a city like ours. Ah, Constable Misha will want to hear this. She takes delight in introducing rising talent to the gentry. <laughs> Many consider it a favor. I'll take her up on that favor. Maysia. Is that the lilting of a flute I heard? Yes, I do have a sharp ear. If your work is of such quality, I know several individuals who would be delighted to learn your name. Play for me? Sure. That's not my name you should be bragging about. What do you think? Yes. Yes. This is exactly what this town needs. I shall ensure your name is spoken far and wide. When you earn yourself a patron, do remember who helped you grow your career. Oh, Marseille's the composer, not me. Ah, a bard then. How kind of you to bring this melody to us. I shall ensure that Marcius receives proper recognition. Do be sure to inform them of my generosity. <laughs> now, you must play for the masses. To the tavern with you. I don't think that was that good. Okay. Yes, Kubwa, did you need something? Ah, the old man Jonas, right? Yes, he passes through often, always raving about corruption. <laughs> he lives outside the walls, in a cabin to the east. Uh, be careful if you're headed that way, or at least don't say I didn't warn you. I will Hold be careful. Moment. You look like someone who's handy with a weapon. I keep an eye out for such talents. If your banana flute hasn't already been claimed, there are those who'd like to change that. What do you mean? Allegiance to whom? Well, the towns are always looking for able-bodied workers. Got a town board for that. But if you know how to fight well, then you could join up with one of the factions. Which factions are we talking oh, about? There's a Covenant, Marauders, and Syndicate as a heavy hitters these days. Or are there others? Vying for influence. You'll find Asians of all three in town, or not far. I talk to them. Neutrality doesn't offer many perks, you know? Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> Oh, 
Tell that to the sweets. Tavern, tavern, tavern. Over here. Hey, Grace. Hey, did you hear? I'm a bard now. Can you believe it? Hello. Bard. Good. I could use someone to liven up the place a bit. Take your place by the fire, love. Sure thing. All right. wasn't here to enjoy that but I'll be singing your praises I hope you can come back and play another night I'll let composer Marseus know is that their name I'll be sure to ask other bards if they know any of Marseus's songs I appreciate you breaking up the quiet with that bit of joy okay maybe don't ask about it maybe just maybe just talk about it Uh, oh, sorry, Atticus. Calling him Marseilles now. I'd probably better if I call him Marseilles to public. Atticus! How did it go? Did they like it? Did their eyes shine? Perhaps shed a tear? <clears throat> I, I wish I could have seen their reactions for myself, but there are more important things. Did it make an impact? Is there now a reputation I must uphold? Yeah, I'd say so. They love the song. Whew, what a relief. Even though I find great joy in composing, there is always a moment where I fear I am simply a butler and nothing more. <sighs> I will approach Mistress Sockham now, I think. Maybe she will offer to sponsor my music? I hope so. I enjoyed it. Truly. This is terrible, my friend. I heard that my mistress was interested in backing my pen name and revealed to her that it was me. I had expected... At any rate, my pay has been docked. No! Not just speak of it again. No, that seems harsh. What are you gonna do? Find a patron without her, obviously. Ah. She does not Fair enough. me. I did some sleuthing and discovered that the O family recently lost a musician in their employ. If we tread carefully, I can present myself to the patriarch. Ah, uh, they don't really like me. Last time I tried to talk to them. They said that I shouldn't, without, you know, a proper introduction. How are we going to get an audience? One never approaches a noble personage without an introduction. There are only a handful of people who can arrange one. We need to find out who they are. Start with their maid, Sarah. She always has her ear to the ground. Oh, she says the same about you. Sarah, your always maid. Young... You got that look on your face. You know the one. Preparing to ask for something that's above your station. Hmm? <laughs> well, get on with it. You got sharp eyes. Can you help me meet with your employer? Lord Shen is particular about his company. I know. You might be a bit too dusty to guard the me? right kind of attention. Luckily, Atticus is not. Don't act surprised. I know what you're after. I can help you both for a price. In fact, I have a list. A list? A list? You have a list? You're a shrewd woman. Uh, laundry! I have to finish your laundry? Collect a parcel, repair the broken pocket watch. Finish your fucking laundry. Are you fucking kidding me? I hate my myth. I hate my myth. Probably weird with that. Hello? Emmerich Olivera. I'm with the Syndicate. We are the true inheritors of the legacy of the ancients. You're just more we are curious. to harnessing the power of Azoth and ushering in a new and never ending age of enlightenment for all. Yeah, that's nice. Hello. 
I'm not trying to talk to you. We are the true inheritors of the world's oh. We are committed to harnessing the power of these and ushering in a new and never now you keep talking. I don't think she. That's stinky. Why? And I'm dusty. Ah, collect a parcel. To get a package for her. You doing okay? I don't want to be implicated in this. I feel like this is a hidden package under a under a tree in a hidden area. I don't know. Sounds suspicious. We're not gonna fix your dumb pocket watch. Okay, now I'm gonna drop off the parcel. Excuse me, sorry, pardon me. Probably rude of me to do that. So I'm guessing I have a dead drop location. Who the fuck am I doing this for? You're having running dead drops, you. Ah, you're so shrewd. If someone sees me, I'm a well known bard around these parts, you know. Do you have the items I requested? Hand them over and I'll evaluate how you've done. Yeah, I've taken care of your errands. And I trust the parcel was delivered to the correct address? Good. A courier will seek out Atticus with an invitation. He is not to be late. He must be well-dressed and carry himself as a musician, not a butler. Understood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, Atticus. Got you an audience. I detect triumph in your demeanor. I do not know what you had to do to secure this opportunity for me, but I suspect victory is close at hand. And now we wait. And now we wait. Look at this. We didn't wait long. The lost wax seal, the heft of the paper, even the ink is gilt and gold. Every detail screams affluence, and yet it is hardly overt. Sounds over. This letter summons me to Lord Shen's side. Congratulations. My heart is all a flutter. Perhaps you could act as my associate and accompany me. I know this may be beneath you, but think of how it will reflect on the reputation we worked so hard to build. It's not beneath me, fan. It sounds above me. They're not gonna like me. I'm dusty. Maybe I'll like, I don't know, fix myself up? As much as I hate these guys, I like Atticus and I like his music and I want him to succeed. So, I think I'd help my, my new friend, the, I forget his name, so I guess we're not friends, but he, the, the guy who can make the fur coats. Fact. Unpin this. Stellar research. Enter the arena. The three way war. So unpin that. Unpin this. Seek out furs. Yes. Also, this. Pin that. Okay. Right, where are we going? Oh yeah, we wanted he wanted me to research that. Jonas. More research. And that's some marauders business. 
Hmm. What was the wolves? Sick fine furs at the midnight den. Ooh, map. Ah, there it is. Okay. So, maybe we'll go down here, up, up around to here, then over to there, around to there, then here, then shrine, then there, then maybe there. Let's go down here first. from the covenant is there a rabbit I'm looking for you you have family here by any chance hmm hello whoa sorry my bad greetings traveler greetings so I pray the fires of hope still burn within your heart. I have taken on a daunting quest to bring aid to the needy, but I am the one now in need of assistance. Oh, what do you need help with? It's painful to admit, but when the Olcott farm fell to the lost, I offered to help them reclaim their valuables. I came here with the old man felled in Olcott, but the withered are too many. I had no choice but to run. What about Felden? He refuses to flee, and I'm too shaken to go back. Please speak with him and get him to leave before he too becomes lost. You must convince him. It's not worth risking his soul for a handful of material possessions. Oh, it sounds like you don't have enough faith. I don't know. Sounds like heresy to me. Felden! Olcott. Decades. Nearly a century we worked this land, only to have it fall to the lost. My family took refuge in town, but we have nothing beyond the clothes we wore when we fled. I'm so sorry to hear that, but Initiate Florina sent me to talk to you. Young Florina? This whole venture was her idea. Save your breath, stranger. I'm not leaving with nothing to show for it. I don't care about the coin, but the memories. If you help me reclaim our keepsakes, I'll go. Deal. I'll help. You get safety. I'll be safe enough right here until you get back. I've dealt with the lost before. If you take too long, I'll come in there myself. This is still my farm, you know. You're a stubborn old man. Okay, let's find your keepsakes. I think I'll finally get to use my new rapier. He didn't see that. I'm taking this payment. Hey! Does this look like your town? Sorry, your farm? Because it isn't. Gourds for sale. We've instructed the little ones in the ways of the trading post, and they seem to be taking it to, taking to it swimmingly. They, with the protection of the older ones, take our goods to market with. while we sow the fields. All of Everfall know, now knows of the old cock family gourds and their quality. Our life here is so much more prosperous than we could have ever imagined and when we took the risk to leave the old world behind, yes there is danger around here but if one simply sticks to the roads and then steadily routine even a family as big and peaceful as ours can survive and even flourish. Aww. It makes me sad. No, I'm personally vested. Uh, it's not a keepsake. I can, I'll, I'll, it's a keepsake for me. Remember this farm by. It's a very important farm for me too, you know. It has things. Forsaken boots. Ooh, 
potatoes. You never know, you might ask for these back. I'm just I'm just being prepared. Ollie Alcott's Alcott's Locket. Town Crest. Okay. Of it, what we do since when? It's not a dexterity. Oh, we have territory points. Everfall. Definitely gathering speed. I think always gathering speed. No. I really want storage though. I don't know. Maybe I'll decrease the trading tax. I'd have storage elsewhere than here. Unless I can use this place for armor and weapons, I can use the other I can use Pridwin for uh, crafting materials. Hello. You're in the way. in here? Nope. City and sandpaper. Okay, we check that area out. Check. We have not checked this area out. Here, more potatoes. Space for this? I hope I have space for this. Wait. Am I not gaining any more potatoes? What's going on? Why am I not gaining potatoes? Oh! Because I have potatoes right here. I'm using them as a consumable. I should not be doing that. I don't know why I was doing that. I can cook these. There we go, plus a potato. I'll put them back in the slot if I, if I start to get heavy. If you're not gonna farm it. up here? I did not. What? What? Did not check. Oh, that's a tower. I don't need to go there. I don't think. Has he already been to that tower? Maybe. I don't know. Ah, the town crest.
Aha, got it. Hello. Backsog. Okay. I guess he doesn't want a backsog. That's rude. You know, if someone backsogs you, you backsog back. Backsog me. Bragsog. Hey, Bragsog. Punk ass bitch. <laughs>